Lab 70 is titled Reference versus Assignment. Now I'm very tempted to call it scope because that's the concept that it's about, but scope is much more variable in Python than it is in your own language. And the scope of an attribute depends on how you're using that attribute. Here we see cups equals 10. Cups, the identifier, is on the left side of the equal sign, so we are using it for assignment. Very different is when we're using it for reference, and it is not on the left side of an identifier, and it is not being changed in memory. We are only referring to what's there, taking a look at what's there. These two concepts you have to keep very clear in your mind when you're a Python programmer. Reference and assignment. Assignment and reference. Here we have a Python module named spaces.py and this shows you what the deal is. We see here on line four that we have a global identifier, pies. I'm not recommending that you ever put any data in the global space. It's very vulnerable and you'll get an idea at how vulnerable it is to being changed and you can lose control of your data that way. It's a general engineering concept. Don't put data out there. And when we get to object-oriented programming, then you will uh, find a great way to do that, to keep your data encapsulated. Okay, so on line four, we say pi equals one. And in do apple, on line eight, we say pi equals 25. Now that's a local pies. And having a local pies means that we cannot see the global pies. It is hidden from us. This pies equals 25. You'll see that we report it in the output. We add one to it and we report it again. There is no way in Apple to get to the global pies. Taking a look at Barry here, we see we have done on line 15 a global declaration. That doesn't mean we're declaring pies. We are declaring that pies is in the global space. So it's for declaring it as a global. When I report these pies, we get one, the pies that were defined on line four. I bump them up by 10 and you'll see that we get to 10. Now Cherry, now here we see that referencing is different. Python on reference is very generous. Cherry has no assignment in it. There is only the reference of pies. The interpreter looks into Cherry and does not see any assignment. Therefore, it knows to look in the global space and there it finds pies and reports them. So on reference, the interpreter looks in the local function namespace. If it doesn't find it, then it goes on out to the global space. That's how reference and assignment are different. Now we take a look at do mud. We print pies equals pies. And below that, we're setting pies equals 999. What pies are we talking about? I don't know. The interpreter doesn't know. We have an assignment. I mean, we have a reference of pies, but we don't have a global out there. We have an assignment of pies, but we've already done a reference. So it's very confusing. And we get an error. And the error is unbound local error. Local variable pies reference before assignment. And I wish it said identifier, but it doesn't. It's very old piece of Python. So when the interpreter first sees a module, it does a read of it, a pre-read of it. And when it sees def, it makes a function object and puts the label on it, the identifier on it. And it decides if the identifiers in that function are local or global. 
Since there's an assignment in this function, it decides it's local because it doesn't have a global declaration. So when at runtime comes and we come here and we look for pies in the local, because it's in the local, crash. Local variable pies reference before assignment. That's the issue. Our exercise here for lab 70 is just to predict the output. And do please use a piece of paper. Do not go typing in code. It, you don't learn anything. It's a waste of time and it's frustrating and error prone. And in the end, on, la, on number two, I want you to write down a function that will produce an error. Okay, good luck with that. I'll see you on the other side.